What was the best compliment you ever got? You are the best candidate for this job. Your resume is fantastic. And I was like. Thanks. Dad. Apostrophe. My old manager was not a native English speaker. He was trying to illustrate that I'm self-motivated. Self-sufficient. And low maintenance in general. What actually came out of his mouth was you're a lone wolf in black sheep's clothing. I was having one of my weekend visits with my boy after a particularly hard week. And as I was tucking him into bed. He asks me. What do you think heaven is like? Double quote. I told him. Well. I don't know. But I guess heaven is a place where you're always happy. You have everything you want. And you feel nothing but love and peace all the time. Double quote. And then he says. I think you're my heaven. Double quote. I'm learning Italian and I'm terrible at learning new languages. The other day I was having a conversation with an Italian who just blurts out FCK. I wish I could speak English as well as you speak Italian. It's at that point that I realize what I have achieved and all I could do was grin like a complete idiot while mumbling a quiet thank you. A girl at the supermarket checkout. Scanning my items through. Kept glancing up at me for the two or so minutes I was standing in front of her. I pay for my things. Go to collect them and hear her. Very timidly. Tell me I have beautiful eyes. Too bad my mother was standing beside me. Otherwise I'd have swept that girl off her feet. Actually. No. I'm too much of a pussy. I'd have blushed. Stammered. Tripped and spilched tea over her. That's my standard move. A little girl pointed to me and asked her mum if I was a real fairy. When her mum said I wasn't she said but. She's so pretty. Double quote. Years ago. When my wife and I were walking on the sidewalk and a lady yelled from her car driving by here's fine. You better hold on to that. Dot. It made our day. And still. When I think about it. It's a confidence booster. Nauri the smartest black guy I know. You're the best daddy ever. My four year old. You've raised a very respectful and empathetic little girl. Made me tear up. There's two. One. I create custom closets and a lady once told me you're every woman's hero too. I recently lost 150 pounds over the last 13 months and my overweight boss told me you are my inspiration to finally get my life in order and get in shape. I should post a before and after for proof. Tried on a tight. Slinky dress yesterday and an older woman said. That dress looks stunning on you. Especially on your bottom. Double quote. I've worked really hard for that. Bottom. I bought the dress even though I don't really need it. I went home from your gig and sat for 2 hours in front of my fridge just listening to it. Not everyone may like you for who you are but promise me you'll never change for anyone. Had skin cancer removed from my face a few years ago that left a deep. Long. Vertical scar on my cheek. I. Female, entered JFK airport confused and overwhelmed when a male worker helped me find a luggage cart. I thanked him. To which he replied. Um hum. Which a beautiful complexion. Double quote. That was the day I beat skin cancer. Edit. Thanks for the gold. That really made my day. Close bracket. You make me so happy that I don't need anyone else. Double quote. Wasn't really verbally said but sometimes actions speak louder. Anyway staying at my friend's house for Thanksgiving during university and her younger sister greeted her sister and didn't notice I was there. Anyway about 5 seconds later she goes yep. Hides behind her sister. Nervously waves at me from behind her and says hi. It was the first time I felt like a girl really liked me. I was homeschooled all the way through high school. And not in a great way, although I was taught well. The social aspect was completely ignored, so I was am painfully awkward. Very insecure. Can't talk to females. Dressed like compete crap. Carried myself very poorly. And was generally just an idiot. I since have embarked on a fairly intense self-improvement mission in many different ways. Well.
a week or so ago. I was talking to someone. And they asked me where I went to school. I said I was homeschooled. And it turns out this guy is homeschooling his children. He then says to me. So I guess there is hope for them then. I almost cried when I got home. I met my boyfriend's former co-worker. She later told him. Your girlfriend keeps it real. Not a worse. Double quote. A few days ago I was swinging my autistic son. Who's barely verbal. And he started repeatedly yelling out that it was. The best day ever. Double quote. Your eyes are amazing. Double quote. Which is usual followed by. How did you get them to be different colors? Double quote. My left eye is a light silver with a ring of blue around it and my right eye is a bright blue with a dark blue ring around it. They're natural. No contacts. Fucking facip them every time before I even get to say thanks. But it's still my favorite compliment. Edit. Sorry it took so long. I was on reddit till 7am and fell asleep shortly after the post. Pics are posted now. Deliverance rejoice. Edit. Would be super great if people could stop posting my potato picture from 3 years ago. I have clearer pictures with better lighting below. And if anyone wants some instant karma. Post the potato pic on our cringe epics. Imga, HTTP. I. Imga. Com M Kojmk. Imga, HTTP. I. Imga. Com M Kojmk. Imga, HTTP. I. It was small. But being told you're actually a really nice guy. By a girl felt really good. From part of letter a good friend sent me. You really are the most incredible woman I know. When I'm with you. I finally feel like I am the person I could be. The person I should be. Rather than the person I am the rest of the time. Your infectious desire to live life. To seek out adventure. To push boundaries. To challenge yourself and others. Those are the things true beauty is made of. Double quote. Tattoo artist here. I did a tattoo. And posted it online. Later several other well respected artist friends of mine quietly joked and or advised me I should have wiped the tattoo off before I took the photo. The blood was tattooed on. Edit. Holy shit. Didn't expect to see this hat blown up when I was went looking through my post history for another thread. Here you go guys. HTTP. I. Imga. Com vqdr 6 e 2 JPG. Thank you for being my rock. Double quote. My wife. After having gone through a month long bout of an intestinal disease that included numerous doctor and hospital visits and me taking care of the house and kids while also making it to work on time. When I'm with you. I forget about my past. She had an abusive father. I am HO the best compliments are those that aren't really compliments. Like when somebody accuses you of cheating at something, assuming you didn't actually cheat. I am told that I look like Matt Damon at least 4-5 times a week. He's a handsome dude. I'm happy that we are friends. And thank you for that. Double quote. After some time with almost no friends. It meant a lot for me, even more that it came from a girl. From a girl who was quiet in bed. If you knew what you are doing to me you would be jealous. Double quote. Edit. Quote. Shortish version. I get married to woman with two young daughters, ages 4 and 6. Adopt both girls. Wife and I have two more kids together. Then after 10 years of marriage she bolts one. 000 miles away to live with and marry new boyfriend. I feel lost and hurt and confused. But I have custody of all four so I feel good. The 4 year old, now 15 and in high school, recently shows me a text she sent her friend in which she calls me her hero for staying and raising her. FTW. Recently had my yearly performance review. We knew you were intelligent. But you have blown us away. Good ego boost I guess. The word unstoppable was thrown around a few times. Non-work related. I was leaving a bar because I had to work early this chick I like stops me and asks me to stay for a little bit longer because she was in a bad mood and knew I would make her laugh. Not much but something. 
Edit. Didn't have sx yet. Will definitely be asking her out this week. She's quite young so I don't know if I should be overly cautious. I realized pretty early on I was no Ryan Gosling so I play to my strengths humor is definitely one of them. Laughing girls out of their pants is an art form. As a girl who isn't too bad looking. Being told I love the way your mind works was awesome. Compliments about appearances get old. I'm more than what I look like. Everything you say is funny with your face ha ha ha. That counts right? Right? Probably going to be buried in this thread but what the hell. I'd go to war with you. My mentor and then sergeant in the army. You rock that hair. Goldilocks. Double quote. I think it stuck with me because I'd never met the girl before. She was just passing me in the hall and decided to brighten my day. Colon. Close bracket. I don't get a lot of compliments. But my ex told me that my sklong was the biggest one she's been with. Don't know if it's true. I don't really care. But it's nice to hear. The 11 year old I teach martial arts to came into my work with his friend. I gave them a free drink each and the friend asked him why are these free? Double quote. Thinking I couldn't hear him. My student replied because he's nicer than most people his age. Actually he's the nicest person I know. And he's so much stronger and faster than me. He's also really smart. I hope I'm like him when I'm older. And I kind of wish he was my brother. Double quote. Exactly one week later my student's younger brother, 6, hugged me and said you're my best friend and you have to stay with me forever. Double quote. They broke my soul. And now I wish I was their brother, unfortunately I am moving very very far away this Thursday and I haven't told them. But it feels really good to be such a positive role model for these kids. There's a homeless man that begged for money outside the mall that I work at, he was at the street corner. Right next to a red robin. Every Wednesday he and I went in and had lunch. I buy. He's legitimately homeless. Vietnam veteran. Etc. We frequently swapped stories. He had some of the best stories in my opinion. But one day. He looked me in the eye and said. You tell the best stories I've ever had the pleasure to hear. I tid up. Because I never thought my story, my life story, was all that interesting. And here is a man I respect and honor and he's telling me that my story is better than his. I miss him. One day. He just stopped showing up. I hope it's because he got a home somewhere. This is going to sound shallow after seeing some others. But being 31 yo I had someone card me at a cigar shop. I was bouncing all day after that. It wasn't exactly a compliment but it made me really happy. I was trying on some skirts and opened the fitting room curtain to show my mom how I looked. A little girl was passing by. And she just stopped. Pointed a finger at me and said wow. I either looked really pretty or like some spongebob wizard or something. Either way. I took it as a compliment. Grew up fat and lost a lot of pounds while gaining muscle. Was walking down the street past a cafe with my sunglasses on when I spied a hot girl and her friend. Because of my shades I was able to keep my head forward while still checking her out of the corner of my eye. At the same time I was thinking holy hell. That girl is hot I saw her nudge her friend gesture to me with her head and mouth damn. Don't know who you are random girl. But just so you should know you made my day life. I'm a musician, singer guitarist, who has played in quite a few bands. The best compliment I've ever gotten was from a fellow. Well respected musician in the area who. After one of my shows. Came up and said. Great show man. I believe you. Double quote. It was both humbling and exciting to know that he could feel, and hopefully everyone could feel, the emotion I put into my singing. One time I was giving blood and the nurse commented that I was a good bleeder. Double quote. Well it's better than nothing. I guess this has a bit of a backstory. I started working as a teacher's assistant as part of my education courses in college. I always wanted to be a teacher. Because I always liked helping people out and wanted to have a real purpose in my life. Something I never thought I would have. High school was rough. 
I had few friends and a very negative outlook on life. So when college came around I aimed to change that. Fast forward to my sophomore year. And one of the things our professor had us do was a compliment round where we would take turns complimenting the person next to us. It was a way to help motivate students in the classroom. It eventually got to a girl's turn who was sitting next to me. And she had to compliment me. I honestly wasn't sure what to expect considering everyone was still getting to know each other. But she said to me. What's great about you is the positive attitude you bring. And I think it's safe to say that the rest of us agree with that. I almost cried. I never thought I would hear that about myself. But I did. It was then that I knew I was moving in the right direction. Way back when I joined MySpace and the owner of the website added me as a friend. So yeah. I took that as a pretty big deal. One of my mother's friends is a complete ass at most times. But like the father I never had at others. He was invited to a radio show on the same day he was joking around and said something very hurtful. I tuned in to listen, still angry about what he said. The topic of conversation was how kids are raised by single parents. And how if a boy is raised by a single mother then this can be bad for the child. My mother's friend waited for the right time and eventually told the other two on the show actually. I think you're wrong. I am close personal friends with a single mum and her son is one of the most polite. Well raised teenagers I have ever met. I was choking once I heard him say that. I've been working as a service cashier for the past two years. Often it can get quite robotic. And often lethargic doing the same thing constantly. Comments like wow. You are the fastest scanner I have ever seen. Really pump me up. Made the rest of that shift go by much quickly. This is so tragic. But as a teenager I was at a friend's house party. It was the usual affair of mainly boys drinking and playing computer games when someone's older brother and his girlfriend crashed the party. He said I looked too cool to be there. The jokes on him as I was probably the biggest jeek there. But it shot my self esteem through the roof. I'm so proud of you. Double quote. My fiancé said this to me a half hour ago when she texted me goodnight. She often says such wonderful things. But somehow I'm so proud of you sticks out. I'm in a job I don't like. Working hours no one likes. Attending night school several evenings a week. And it's just about too much. But when she tells me she's proud of me for doing my best in everything I'm doing. Man. It makes it feel worth it. From my platoon sergeant in Kuwait. We hated each other's guts. Which is why I was blown away when he said. SGT Sapper in Texas. You're obnoxious as FCK. But I wish I had three of you. I was told by several people that they strangely felt like they could open up to me. Even though we barely knew each other. I came to America when I was 2 years old. I was about 13. And visiting my grandmother during summer break. She and I were walking alongside a road when a man pulled over to ask us directions. Although he was using his best Spanish. He was struggling quite a bit. He had the biggest look of relief when I gave him directions in English. Just before he left. He told me my English was perfect. And to keep up with my classes. 13 year old me got such a kick out of it I simply smiled and said thank you. Been working out at the gym for about two and a half months now. One of the janitors. Real friendly guy. I see him all the time there. He says to me a couple days ago. Man. You're already starting to look stronger. I can't really see a difference. I'm a shy. Scrawny kid. And that meant a hell of a lot to me coming from somebody I hardly even knew. I was taking my autistic teenage son through the supermarket. Trying to keep my cool. Talking to him and keeping him from shouting hitting ETC. While I got food for the week. A woman stopped for a second and said. You're a good dad. It was a small thing but it almost made me cry. It still does. I work in a shop and have a really deep voice. A black guy was talking to me for ages about Bioshock and he said I had the bass tones of a brother. That was the coolest I ever have. Or will feel in my life. 
I was told by my grandmother that I was a natural mother and I took such good care of my daughter. This may not mean much to most. But for 18 years I was physically and emotionally abused by my biological mother. Which made me develop severe depression and diagnosed OCD. I attempted suicide 6 times in my life. Since the day I found out I was pregnant I have not cut myself. Nor binged and purged, also struggled with bulimia. My daughter is my true north. After years of being told I have a huge ass in high school and being made fun of for it. I'm noticing more and more how much people in college like it. My boyfriend loves it. His best friend says it's amazing. I catch my male co-workers looking at it, two of them have admitted to it. And my female friends are jealous. I've gone from hating what I have to loving it and working hard to make it and the rest of me better. This will all probably get lost. But oh well. Close bracket. When I shaved my beard. Women quit talking to me as much. I couldn't figure out why until I asked a female friend. She said you're kind of hot to the point of being intimidating. Best compliment ever. And no. My beta self did not take the massive hint and make a move. God am I'm dumb. I'm an officer in the US Air Force. I try to not project that fact while off duty or on duty. One of the greatest compliments I've ever received was from a former marine non-com. Who while out to dinner with a big group of friends. Sit across the table. You know. LT. Most days I forget you're even an officer. The fact that they all called me LT at the time just made it even better. Colon. Capital D.